Hi, it's Tim Lurch, JetCityMusic.com. This week in our, uh, well, I don't know if it's a week, it could be a month. But anyway, this time in our country rockabilly roughhouse guitar uh, lesson series, I'm going to talk about bending. Now, we can get real wild and wooly, you know, in the blues you can bend and stretch those strings and really strangle them. It's a kind of emotional quality that we get when we bend strings. There's another approach to bending strings which comes from steel guitar players which is what I call a mechanical bend. Mechanical bends mean that there's a couple of things we don't do that we usually do, which is to put a vibrato on the note and bend it inaccurately. <laughs> so anyway, what a mechanical bend means is we're going to move a note, often in relationship to another note, exactly in tune to a new place, hold it, and then let it back down again. So some of those licks I was playing at the beginning have that quality. So. For instance, in the Kive again, we're going to take the second of the key, the B note, and we're going to move it up a whole step to C sharp, which is the third of an A chord. And while we hold it up there, we're going to play the fifth of the chord, and then we're going to let that note back down again. So it's a push and then a release. But in the meantime, we've got to hold it up. And believe me, it's not easy to do. So let's take a look at this lick, which is sounds beautiful and smooth when it's done nicely, but is a real bear to do. We're going to play... Uh, let's do it that way. We're going to play this little steel guitar opening, which is just uh, the fifth of an A up the scale and then back down. Then comes the bendy part. What's happening there is we're bending the second up to the third, grabbing the fifth above, then playing the bent note again, which is still the third, then playing the fourth against it, and then letting it down. Let me get a good grip on it. Okay. And I pull off to that note. And now we're going to do almost identically that same lick as if it were occurring over the four chord. And then the same lick an octave down uh, to resolve. I got a little wild with the pitch there. Now, you might consider using your right hand fingers for this to get a kind of plucky sound. That's right, we got to change the fingering a little bit for that tail end there. Now, I have 11 to 50 on this guitar, string gauge wise, and that's, to be honest with you, a little heavy for this kind of playing. Um, so if, you're, if you haven't been doing a lot of these mechanical bends, I would recommend even going to a set of nines on a guitar. Uh, raise the action up a little bit so the nines aren't so plunky, but to have a little bit lighter string so you don't kill yourself and give yourself all kinds of carpal tunnels and things like that, um, and tendonitis. You can build your way up. In my tone lesson that's coming up, I'm going to talk about how to get a good sound out of your guitar. And one of the things we do to get a good sound out of the guitar is put the heaviest possible strings on that we can, that we can use. Um, but in this case, I would recommend going to a little bit lighter string. Okay, so there's one more lick I want to show you. It's a short one. And if it's on the A chord, it's hard like hell, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to take this part of an A major chord, take away the first finger, and so we've got a little A triad here. And then we're going to take this note right there, which is the third, and we're going to move it down to the ninth. And then we're going to play those three notes and pull toward the floor with our first finger. 
to get an A chord to appear. Uh. Okay, and that's crazy hard. But if you do it with a with a, a volume pedal, uh. sounds kind of like a steel guitar, right? So that one's written down too. It's a good one to start with because it's it really teaches you how to get good strength in your first finger to do those pulls. Okay. So for now, we're going to uh, sign off with our lesson on on steel type uh, bends or mechanical bends. See you next time.